The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. Welcome, welcome to Unhinged with the Door Door. Today, we have a very special nerd joining us. I'm Adam Dalton. I'm on the business development team with Sergeant Corbin Russwin. You guys ready for the next one? Yeah. This one's not too knocking bad at all. In fact, I think it's quite remarkable. Ooh, this is one of those ancient balanced doors, isn't it? Mm -hmm. These ones are nice. Wow, yeah, this is, I'm more impressed than concerned. Perhaps I'm, I'm overlooking a concern just because I think the architecture is so cool. but Oh, I'm sure there's like, they've been really grandfathered into some codes here. Like really. Probably cool. not five pound compliant for uh, California. Yeah, that, that probably not ADA compliant. Like, you know, I would struggle getting a wheelchair over that. <laughs> but typically one person can shut these. Yeah, so there's a little background. This one is actually submitted by Mr. Roger Schmidt, one of our corporate electronic mechanical specialist trainers. And I did a post a while back where I said, hey, post your oldest picture of door that you've ever seen. And this is the oldest door that he's ever seen. And it's in Turkey. And it's about 1500 years old, which wow. is just mind blowing to think about nothing in the States is anything close to that history, right? Like that's pretty remarkable. And then you can see his hand and Roger's a pretty tall guy. So he's got a big hand, like look at the thickness of that door. And he said it was still swinging. It was screeching quite a bit, but it was still swinging. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see the hinges on that thing. Yeah, it's right. Like those, those old pivots that they, they I have no idea how that whole thing works. I need to go back to Europe and, and figure it out. Yeah. Sounds like a business trip <laughs> for investigative purposes. No, this is this is awesome. I'm more impressed than concerned. No, this was definitely not really knocking bad, just kind of knocking amazing. Yeah, I'd like I, to knock on that door. Yeah, these are always really cool. I appreciate these. We should do DHN in the wild. Yeah, I feel Rome calling us. Mm. Would be fun, would be fun. <laughs> okay, so not too knocking bad. I don't even know if we should give this one a knocking score. Any final comments? comments before we jump into the last photo i give it a 10 on the cool rating yes exactly <laughs> pretty remarkable yeah thanks roger for sending it in i guess if i had to be picky I, I would question whether or not the doors are swinging you know in the path of egress but i'm not gonna pick on this door that hard okay the final photo are you ready all right oh now this is really interesting this is one of those where i gotta look at it closely to figure out if i'm impressed or concerned this is <laughs> you know kind of a flush mount a concealed closer semi-concealed closer is this a new product we need to offer so did they cut the closer or did they cut the frame they cut the, like the frame was notched and you know <laughs> Probably not the proper method, but all things considered, done pretty clean. Not right, but a nice job of not doing it right. So I got sent this photo by a fellow door hardware nerd, remaining anonymous here. And I was impressed at first. I was looking at it. I'm like, but wait a second. How are you going to adjust it when you need right. to adjust the closer? I'm like, where are the valves? And he's like, oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> Turns oh. out they needed to adjust the back check after installing it. And the valves are on the other side. So the person that submitted this did the install so i think it was his team was doing oh, it okay. yeah. it looks nice and crisp and clean but hopefully you never have to adjust that door ever again maybe do it in bsp huh oh yeah i didn't think about that yeah yeah black suede would have looked nice ten, well probably 10 10 be would have blend better you think so yeah i guess it depends right everything comes across the screen differently to me it yeah. looks like it's a brownish frame it looks kind of like that brown anodized aluminum There's but the the pictures in the in the shadows it makes it tough to tell for sure yeah so again i don't know if there's any life safety or code issues here but just thought it was quite remarkable in its own different way yeah for sure and i'm reluctant to dog on it too much if our friend submitted it he gave me permission so we're <laughs> clean he realizes where they went wrong real quick no yeah, that's funny like i said it's actually done pretty cleanly you know may make it tough to service down the road you know the maintenance and operations team may not may not like it but the architect would probably love it right get get that closer out of my sight Yep. Knock and score. What do you think? I have a tough time, I guess, seeing the life safety concern side of it. I think I'd put it at a kind of at a five in the middle because even though I don't perceive it as a life safety concern, it's still not really done correctly. We do look at things from the standpoint of the life of the building, you know, how we're going to maintain and service them. And so that five, you know, again, not really from a life safety standpoint, but just from looking at it from the life of the building and, and who's going to have to take care of it. I think that could be a bigger challenge down the road. I'm going to put it in the middle at a five. Yeah, I agree with you, Adam. I think down the road, whoever is maintaining this building is going to be a 
a five and then the next year it's going to be a six and then the next year it's going to be a seven they're going to just be more and more frustrated with the same door that they have to uninstall basically every time to adjust yeah depending on their comfort level with disassembling that structure too you might get the right person that says no problem yeah that's true i am also middle of the road however with more information i would potentially change my rating because we're seeing more and more of these glass walls have some sort of a windstorm rating my concern would be by cutting into the framing did they mess with the integrity of this wall at all just looking at it and assuming they just wanted more daylighting at this opening and that it's not actually like rated for wind or anything me and need an engineering low. review of course but yeah Take so if the there yeah yeah so if there was any sort of like windstorm rating associated with this that would be my concern because now you've created a weak point yeah and if you are not able to adjust the closer there's potential of it not latching which is also a security issue in itself right there sure. also from an environmental like sustainability this is an exterior door if that door's not closing properly you're letting in the elements you're letting out the cool air i don't know where this is at but it looks nice and warm so you might want to keep that air conditioning in your building like the door was designed to do that's a good point and from a safety standpoint if it wasn't you know adjusted to be strong enough it could just be flinging open you know into people or something like that and then make it more difficult to do the proper fix and then we end up with the bungee strap on it five years from now on the same show trying to figure out how do we get here oh my god oh, i would love that that would be fantastic if we had the evolution of a door fell <laughs> like, we need to check in on these openings every three years or so and just see how they're doing where are they now yeah where are they now no i'm thinking that <laughs> you know like pokemon or like digimon where like it's first stage and then phase two and then phase three the nerd coming out in me any last comment on this before we close it out i think a nice low profile low energy operator would have blended in just as well and not required as much custom modification yeah, yeah that's true. Right. one that you can like program with your phone um mm -hmm. hypothetically you never know we might know somebody <laughs> and then i might know somebody okay the second image was tough because like i said i was i was really more impressed with it than, than wanting to critique it and even the third one was tough because even though it wasn't done properly like they did a really good job at doing it improperly <laughs> you know so it could actually look pretty nice it looked intentional so there were some tough ones there today yeah no those are some clean cuts i was expecting some more like jagged lines or like sparks flying or something i don't know i've seen some pretty rough mm -hmm. install so I, I bet they could do a quality electric strike installation if they were that good at you know notching around the closer they'd probably do a really solid job on the framework too yeah let's give this person a job all right well adam thank you thank you so much for joining us today it was a pleasure having you on the show join us for the next episode of unhinged our doors are always open partially because they're unhinged <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having me great show if you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, or if you have a photo to submit, please leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.